Today we're going to look at a demo of a few of the best features of MD Everywhere's Practice First. First we're going to make an appointment for a patient who has insurance with Cigna. I'll press Make Appointment and click where I'd like to make the appointment. We press Create Appointment and at this point we are connecting to their insurance company to check for current eligibility. Notice the eligibility has come back as active. The result of their Cigna eligibility check is that yes, their insurance is currently active. We can also scroll down to find more details about the eligibility, including that the copay is $15, as well as looking at the insurance eligibility report and seeing more specific details about deductibles, etc. Next, let's make an appointment for a patient who may not have valid insurance. Again, we'll click a Make Appointment, we'll choose the appointment spot, and we'll press Create Appointment. This time, the result of the eligibility check is that no, their insurance is not currently eligible. We received a result of failure. If we scroll down, we can see the reason for the failure is that the patient was not found. Notice on the appointments themselves, the green check mark represents active insurance eligibility, while the big red exclamation point represents a failed insurance eligibility check. Now let's look at coding a basic encounter. There are multiple ways of entering your diagnoses, procedures, and EM codes into your encounter. First, on the left hand side, you can use Quick Add Code. Here, you'll simply enter the diagnosis, ENM, and CPT codes that you wish to use. Finally, click Quick Add. Those codes have now all been added to the encounter. You can also use a customizable My List list. From here, we'll create the most often used codes for your specialty or your practice. You'll simply click the code you wish to use and press Add Selected Charges. That code has now been added to the encounter as well. When finished, simply click Submit. This encounter is now ready for billing. Finally, let's take a look at some of the menus within the work list. You have various menus such as Needs Coding, Past Due, and Admin Edits. These menus separate your encounters into which work needs to be done on which encounters. For example, under Admin Edits are all the encounters that have some type of edit that needs to be currently worked. Under Past Due is every encounter that is more than 24 hours old that has not yet been sent to billing. Finally, under Need Coding, are today's specific encounters that still need to be coded and sent to billing. Using these menus guarantees that no encounter ever goes without getting paid.